Price is checked in for Charlotte. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke. Hi guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message Tom Thibodeau was giving to his team. It's been a hard-fought game, and he just wanted to give his guys a chance to catch their breath, saying, listen, we're right there. Let's make a push right here, put some pressure on them. Let's come out swinging. Kevin? All right, Doris, thanks. Shot on the wing. Bullseye! That's 10 points for Pau Gasol. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. Hornets trail by three. Price kicks to Williams. Charlotte moving the ball around. And that Price. one's good. Price. This game has taken on a new feel since halftime. For sure. The energy level on both sides has gone way up after the break. Heinrich passes to Gasol. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Jefferson's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Price. And that misses. That would have put him up. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Stevenson drives in. And what a tremendous game for Speedy. He has 12 points, and he has one steal to his credit as well. But he's done a better job than the numbers indicate, really. I think he's been really sound defensively, and he's helped his club. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bulls. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And I'll tell you, the other thing, guys, is the, the mid-range shot has been something that's really worked well for them tonight. Tony Snell's checked in for Miritich. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Chicago's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Price with the steal. For the finish, trips down the breakaway slam. That. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Heinrich gets to Gasol. It's rebounded by Jefferson. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Now Stevenson. Price outside. Shot from the wing. That ball. Nice feed that time from Stevenson. And it's a five-point Hornets lead. Yeah, guys, it's his consistent shooting that's really helped get his team into a position they're in right now. Here's Gasol. Yes! And the foul. That's on Marvin Williams. There's two makes on seven shots this quarter. And he just looked lost out there in the fourth. It's uh, obvious he doesn't have any confidence right now. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Hornets. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Butler dishes to Noah. Butler attacking Heinrich outside. Gasol with it. Jefferson picks him up. Three-pointer Heinrich. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And here is Kid Gilchrist. And here's Price from beyond the arc. And another three for Charlotte. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today, ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass? Well, if you just looked at assist as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Stolen by Price. All alone, the big dunk at the end of the break. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted. The aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball, because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. 
It's Gasol missing. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Kid Gilchrist, the pass to Jefferson. Out to the wing. Here's Price. And there's another one for the Hornets. I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Hornets. All right, Steve, and they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments, I thought, Clark, for them uh, throughout this game. No opportunity really to coast, although the score may appear that they did. I love the way they came together whenever things started to look bleak. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And talk about applying pressure to an opponent. Tonight's win will move their record to 2 and 0 in the season series with two more games left to play on their year against the Bulls. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for Speedy. You have to look at his steals and when he would come up with them as major factors in this result. Williams with the ball. He's picked up by Heinrich. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Price. And he gets it to go. And now it's an 11-point Charlotte lead. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's how you close out a game, Steve. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. Now Zeller. Here's Neal. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now Jordan presents our player of the game, Speedy. All right, all right, all right. It's one thing to know that you are the best in the league, but it's another thing to prove it on the court, night after night after night. Check this out. We doing what we supposed to do. Beating who we supposed to be. It doesn't matter unless we play well during the playoffs. True, but it still feels pretty good now, doesn't it? Yeah. It does.
shall such faith.